project, but that is really... I feel so free today and I'm absolutely happy to be able to do all those projects or be crazy enough to, to really explore what I can do. And um, I have this wonderful balance in my life nowadays to have the classical music and rock metal very balanced so i'm working a lot in a classical music and also in rock so but it's really wonderful to be able to say that uh, i found the balance uh, i found my sound and uh, i'm working on it i'm still working on it you know practicing a lot with my voice training a lot and um, but that's my life that's the way of life It took years, it took years. Um, why? There are no real um, answers for that. But it's like like life is, you know, you, you learn from your experiences, you learn from your mistakes, you learn from, from the life in general. So it took me this long because of, um, you know, all the time new things were happening into, in my life and my career and beautiful things and they really taught me a lot so now i'm finally in a in a really really perfect place so to say um, as an artist that i can choose whether to do that or not and that's quite privileged Where the, key? the key i think is here i think the key is always inside of you in your soul and in in your heart in that sense that I found um, peace hmm, within myself and I said well if I'm not enough for somebody I don't need to be if I'm okay with myself I'm okay Uh, 
I lost my mother, uh, many things like that, personal things like that happened to my life. So those things made me realize that, come on, you need to live now, not wait for tomorrow to happen now. <laughs> I fight for my dreams, actually. I'm a dreamer and I want to keep on dreaming and doing things that I love and, you know, not wasting my time too much into things that makes me suffer or makes me sad. At least I try and I feel very privileged to be able to really try. I'm very workaholic, I would say. I am a person, I, I make myself work hard. My voice actually makes me work harder every day and, uh, and that also motivates me a lot to, to choose what I do. And talking about classical music and talking about metal, they really, they are in a very, uh, they are very united in my in my body and in my soul today, but there are limits. Uh, I wouldn't do something that I don't feel I'm capable of. Like every one of us, I mean, we are not machines. We just have what we have. But I try to get better in what I do in classical singing and in singing rock. Of course, I try to get better in those two. Outside of those two, wow. It's too much already. It's, too, it's. I think it's a. It's quite a lot to to maintain those two going on. teaching voice, I'm teaching singing in, uh, in Buenos Aires, in Argentina. Uh, sometimes I, I meet my students and, and I always tell them to go and take lessons in singing because um, it's good for you to listen to somebody else's opinion about you and your, your 
possibilities and knowledge because your ears are not enough. Uh, if you only do it for yourself or yourself, you do it only yourself, it's not enough. So critic is always good, no matter what kind of it is, what, what type of critic it is. But it's always good to hear someone else saying, hmm, maybe you should think a bit different. And then even magic can happen. It has happened to me. Welcome to the answer room.